When this pharmacist from South Korea became famous on YouTube, nobody could have ever imagined that his career would end because he actually made people sick. Women, more specifically. Believe it or not, this charming pharmacist has knowingly infected several women with an incurable disease, all while pretending that the well-being of his audience is his top priority. Today, I'll tell you his story. So first of all, you guys, I just wanted to tell you that YouTube channels run by pharmacists are a thing in South Korea, and one of the most popular ones belong to the man we're talking about today. He goes by the name of Yakurt, and he started making YouTube videos in 2018. He filmed reviews of medical products and gave general information about certain medical issues. According to him, his motivation for filming was the lack of reliable facts about medicine that are available for people. He wanted people to get accurate guidance from a pharmacist instead of just getting medical tips from random internet pages. What a nice guy, right? Right? Anyway, in the beginning, Yakurt's channel wasn't so popular, but then one of his videos called 5 Reasons Not to Consume Aronim in Gold went viral. So as Yakurt gathered more and more views, he started going on radio and TV shows. He was slowly becoming a celebrity, so he kept making videos. At the peak of his career, Yakurt's channel had a very respectable 240,000 subscribers. Not bad, right? And he could have probably done so much more if things had gone differently for him, but we'll get there. Now, as you guys may have guessed by now, after seeing this picture, Yakurt was famous not only because of the content of his videos, but also because, well, he's really cute. So a big part of his following were women that looked up to him, and he probably realized this and wanted to leverage it, because he started making content specifically targeted at his female viewers. He frequently talked about feminine health, he talked about birth controls, just overall feminine health, and it just seemed like he really cared about females. And as it was to be expected, some of Yakurt's fans wrote to him, and he answered back to some of them them, and eventually, he ended up getting a girlfriend. Everything looks great so far, right? A successful pharmacist turned YouTuber who is also super attractive, who cares about people, and even volunteers to help animals. This man really looks like a catch, only he isn't. The thing is, Yakurt had a secret that he kept from his YouTube audience, and even from the people who were closest to him. The worst part is that this secret didn't only affect him, but also the women he was with. On April 24th, Yakurt's girlfriend made a post in an online forum. She signed only as Miss A. She didn't explicitly mention Yakurt's name in the post, but she gave enough information for everyone to know it was him. She also attached a picture of his YouTube channel with his face blurred out. Anyway, in that post, A told her entire story with Yakurt. The two of them met when A messaged the pharmacist on Instagram. After talking for a while, Yakurt suggested that they meet in person. And guys, you need to keep in mind that this guy is literally every girl's dream. Gracie Grace describes him like this. He's handsome, he's well-spoken, he's smart, he studied medicine, and he's a YouTuber, he has a following. I mean, this guy is literally the dream of a girl's Korean prince. So for obvious reasons, A was thrilled to meet him. She wasn't expecting that he would change her life for the worse. A wrote in her post, I should have cut it off when he forced me into intercourse without a condom, but I couldn't discern the situation because I only thought that would bring me closer to him. And honestly, guys, just thinking about this makes me sick. Nobody has the right to do this to another person. What was this man thinking? But as if that wasn't terrible enough, according to A, Yakurt even assured her that it was safer not to use protection. I have no idea how this made any sense in A's head, but she believed blindly in what he was saying because she liked him, and also because he's a pharmacist. Little did she know what Yakurt had just gotten her into. A few days after they were together for the first time, A started having some terrible pains. She developed this sharp pain in her and stomach area and had odd symptoms such as sharp pain when urinating. According to A, she tried to ignore the symptoms and she continued dating Yakurt for a few months. She liked him so much, but that wouldn't last. Eventually, A was diagnosed with herpes type 2, which is an incurable disease. According to her, she spoke to Yakurt as soon as she left the hospital. A few hours later, he wrote to her and told her he was sorry for not telling her about his disease, but he also assured her that the virus wasn't as bad as everyone said. Uh, is this guy for real? I don't I don't know what you guys think about this, but it seems to me that this guy is trying to take advantage of the authority that his profession gives him to spread misinformation. Anyway, only a few hours after admitting that he had infected her, Yakurt decided to break up with A, telling her he was not ready to have a girlfriend. However, he then showed up to her house to, well, you know. But eventually, A gathered the strength to finally stop talking to Yakurt for good. And guys, let's just put ourselves in this woman's shoes for a second. Not only was she terrified of her disease, but she was also confused 
confused and heartbroken. She felt that she had been used as a pleasure tool. According to her, that was the most painful part. She also knew that she would have had to live with a virus for the rest of her life. So she decided to write a post telling her story so other women didn't have to go through the same. The post was published on April 24th, 2020, and it quickly became a scandal. People were shocked that their beloved pharmacist was capable of doing something so vile. But things didn't end up there. In fact, the situation escalated even more. After A's post, on May 2nd, 2020, another woman who claimed to be a Kurt's current girlfriend said that she had gone through exactly the same thing as A. Everything was the same, from the disease to the heartbreak. This woman also posted her story online, and after she did, even more Man, women started commenting that they had sure. gone through exactly that with Yakurt. Uh, this sounds like psycho behavior on his part, if you ask me. And what was Yakurt doing at this point? Freaking out, obviously. He privated all of his videos and social media accounts as soon as A's post went viral. Then he reacted in the worst possible way. He threatened to go to A's house and take his own life. Seriously, what is happening inside this man's head? A didn't want to have this on her conscience, so she ended up deleting her post. But it was already too late for Yakurt. Everyone already knew the kind of person he was. He, however, still wanted to have the last word. On May 4th, 2020, in an attempt to redeem himself and fight the backlash, Yakurt posted his own statement on his YouTube page. He included the results of his supposed lab tests, which strangely appeared to be all negative to the disease. And guys, his statement is as delusional as you are probably thinking. Yakurt apologized to his subscribers for disappointing them with his private life problems, and he claimed he had quietly shut down his YouTube channel to protect the women involved, himself and his family. Then he said that there had been rumors and malicious information going around, and he proceeded to deny most of what the women had said. According to Yakurt, he never established a relationship with any of these women because of lifestyle and personality differences. He also suggested that the women were mad at him because he didn't want anything serious with them. Then he claimed that he had never purposefully infected anyone from any disease because he never had one. So long story short, he apologized for not cherishing the victims more, which according to him had been his only mistake. Then he went as far to say that he would take legal action against the women who had slandered his reputation. But neither his apology nor his tests satisfied people. Many started saying that the urine tests are not accurate for that disease and that he should have done a blood test instead. All of this became so controversial that a broadcasting channel released a documentary episode where they interviewed the women and they were devastated as Gracie Grace said in her video. These are young single females that obviously are hoping to have kids one day, hoping to get married one day and they were actually saying that they feel like no one will love them anymore. I don't know about you but this broke my heart. It's not fair that this happened to them and guys this is already twisted enough but you know how it goes. People on YouTube started coming up with all sorts of different theories about Yakurt's true intentions. The craziest theory out there is that Yakurt is some kind of sick person who gets off by infecting people with this type of disease. I didn't know that this was a thing, but apparently it is. And some people on the comment section of videos dedicated to Yakurt are saying exactly that. This is actually a thing a lot of men or women do. When they know they have a disease that can be transmitted, they will purposefully do it because it's their pleasure. It's twisted and messed up, but not an uncommon thing to see, sadly. After doing some research, I found out that sometimes this term used for this insane practice of infecting people is called gift giving. Uh, so is Yakurt a gift giver? I guess there's really no way of knowing. But what people do agree on is that Yakurt definitely took advantage of these girls. He's narcissistic in using his charm and manipulation to lure these women, where he can get away with anything. But even if it looks like most of us agree that Yakurt ruined the lives of these women, some people are saying that they had it coming. Can you believe that they're blaming the victims here? So they argue that these women DM'd Yakurt first and they should have known what they were getting themselves into by starting a relationship with Yakurt so quickly. These people say that nobody should feel bad for these girls because they got into this situation themselves. And I'm sure that there's no need for me to tell you guys why it's so wrong to blame these girls. So I'll just read you this comment I found on a YouTube video about Yakurt. I don't see how anyone could blame the girls in this. It's his responsibility to get tested and tell the people he intends to be intimate with if he has a disease. Just because they agree to be intimate doesn't mean they agree to contract a 
disease. I just can't believe that some people are unable to see who the bad guy is here. But let's move on. For me, the most outrageous thing about the situation is how incredibly hypocritical Yakurt is. He supposedly started his YouTube channel because he was concerned about how the lack of information could lead people to get sick. So it's kind of ironic that he ended up making these girls sick. And not only that, but he also pushed them to be intimate with him without protection, even if he knew that he was infected. I don't even want to call this irresponsibility. It's just plain evil if you ask me. But yeah, guys, to this day, Yakurt has not come back to YouTube or said anything else on the subject. Now, I'd like you to tell me your thoughts about this situation. Do you think Yakurt did this to the women because he's irresponsible or because he's just a bad person? Let me know in the comments below.